would be a good one. Alrighty. Uh, Wadi starting off with the Rosa. Uh, maybe he actually thinks it might be a better scenario. I mean, with the Rob and the Rosa, they're all in last stock situations in winter semis. Okay. But Wadi still took a 3-0, so maybe Wadi thinks that he can be a little bit comfortable. But we got to consider, Master Mario he's made his way through the loser's bracket. He's got a lot of momentum going for himself, too. So he's going right. to potentially Mario. be a bigger threat than he was in the winter side. Master Mario is definitely hot right now. And it's interesting that he got rid of Luma fairly quick and then didn't pressure Wadi. Kind of just let Wadi play defense until Luma came back. Yeah. Although now that Luma's back, he's he's taking the damage. Yeah, I don't know, man. So I mean, I don't, how many Lorozos have you actually seen on a on a Smash Ultimate right. stream. Yeah. Right. I mean, how do you play against oh! this character? Okay, that's, that's how, you, how you play the character <laughs> yeah. right there. You got a Nair into a forward air. I mean, you just don't do anything differently. I mean, this is Mario we're talking about. We got some early kills going on here. And Master Mario taking the first stock here. Even after you know him having to look like he was uh, the one playing defense around the losing end of the trades, even right there, the trade, Luma still showing um, how big of a bodyguard Luma is. Yeah, that time Luma just kind of standing there helplessly, doesn't know what to do when Mama's gone, and it's going to take that big 71% combo there. But is he going to be able to convert and pressure Wadi when, uh, during these defensive moments? We'll have to see. I mean, Wadi's going to spend some time trying to get Luma back. I mean, but at the same time, Luma's kind of like a balloon in this game. Like, actually, it just kind of yeah. pops and, like, flies away, like, at many more hits. Uh, in this game comparatively than in Smash 4. But we'll have to see how does he get the ledge control here. Guess that back air is not enough to take it, but still, I mean, I'm sure a lot of damage is probably put on Luma already. So he can probably expect to see a defensive defensive Rosa very soon. Well, I don't know if he didn't get the dare too. That worked out. The down air was enough, even from that lower position of the platform. Uh, you see, we, we see Nessa Mario with a decent lead. Oh, but Wadi trying to make quick work of that lead. Doesn't look like the, the horizontal hitbox is quite as wide as before, so it looks like Master Mario is able to get around those juggle situations a little bit better in this game. Of course, I'm just theorycrafting. Maybe Master Mario is just really good at facing around. Who knows? I, I haven't seen the, the hitboxes myself, so I'm just taking a guess here. Okay, trading Nair with S-Smash doesn't exactly work out in Master Mario's favor, but now connecting an smash Wadi trying to bring back the stock deficit. Okay, reads the jump, gets that fair. This is a long... Nice long-lasting hitbox, so it's going to work out for him. He brought it back. One stock apiece. Yeah. I like that up throw, up tilt still thing. Yeah. Ooh. Get the chase on the platform. Master Mario going to try and bring things around. Uses his down air to send Luma into tumble. Got another opportunity to try and bring things back around. You know, I've seen Master Mario reset on platforms so many times. He must be extremely comfortable with just about every stage that has a platform on it. Does, have, did Luma always have like a giant fist that came out whenever they up smash? I believe so. Okay, that looks much more prominent <laughs> in this game. I don't know if it's like how the shadows work. I'm just noticing that there. Last hit scenario for both of these players. One good hit from either of these two. Should be able to take out that stock, but you can tell that they are very aware of it. Being a little bit careful, Master Mario taking his shot there is not working out. Okay, down tilt is going to be whiffing, but we see up smash coming out from Master Mario. Both our players trading. We're going to get Master Mario the stage control. Sour spot, Dare. Luma is back. Yeah, still not quite working out to get the stock. There we go. That's uh, classic Mario. You know, you get a full hop bear. Then you land with another bear. You catch people with that long-lasting hitbox at the ledge. Even though it's a one-frame uh, moment, it still works. <laughs> hey, thank you very much, Side Guy, for uh, continuing to sub. 38 months. 38 months. That is quite a long time. And Death Badger as well. Thank you for the sub. Thank you guys for supporting Same. MSM here. How many viewers we got? 1,600 in the chat right now. Hope you guys are enjoying this latest edition of MSM here with some special guests. Master Mario taking the first game here, so we got an exciting trek for us potentially That's in right. Grand Finals. SoCal Defender coming in strong to Grand Finals. But now... Uh, Wadi must have noticed the same thing I did before. Mass Mario is really good at converting and resetting on those platforms. Just eliminating all platforms. So let's see what Mass Mario can do uh, on Final Destination. Ooh. Ooh, that port, that range doesn't look as big anymore. So didn't quite catch him on that uh, tech chase scenario. Doesn't get the last hitbox on that jab too, but a great up smash. Catches him on the anti-air. Mm -hmm. I mean, Mario's game plan has been to sort of smother his opponents uh, with his movement and just really jumping and crossing up. 
Uh, now, of course, Wadi recognizing that, making good use of his anti-air up smash. All right, there we go. The dare is still doing a good job of uh, getting a, a little bit of height there. So potentially on the next potential dare, he could get a stock. But he's got a lot of different opportunities here. Now that he's got him in the corner. Will he try to go for that bear one more time? Wadi's been doing a lot of neutral getup into shield, and it's been working out for Master Mario most of the time. It has. Uh, it doesn't exactly put. Wadi in a dangerous position. Okay, stuffing out the recovery, getting uh, taxing on a little bit of extra damage with those fireballs. All right, I mean, a lot of straight hits can take out Rose right here. The Master Mouse has got to make sure he plays a little bit patient, make sure he does not try to fish for it, otherwise Wadi's lead could potentially grow even more. I like that just using those reliable aerials to keep him out, keep him in the defense, and then able to read that jump, get the dare. I mean, with the percent that Wadi was at, there was... Uh, Master Mario had uh, access to a lot of tools that could have taken that stock, um, like such as the up air, the nair, or not nair, but like back air. Oh, he went for it. He went for the cape. I mean, I was, uh, I, I was thinking cape too, and I'm sure Wadi was thinking that too. He's like, okay, I'll go a little bit higher than I should, and that way I can avoid that. That's right. That's definitely the optimal play. Not enough hits on that to get the forward smash. Probably could read a like a defensive option afterwards instead. Parry into down tilt, but he's not able to convert much more after that. And an up smash from Wadi will give him the lead. All right, Master Mario, he's got a little bit of ways to go. He doesn't have like the platform extensions like you said, so it's going to be a little bit difficult for him. Well, he's going to get that fair. Luma still, even in hit stun, going to be able to try and hit back. Gets around it this time. Tries to get that forward smash. Doesn't quite work out. I like these fares in neutral to uh, get the stage bounce and then try and convert off those. Interesting that Fair from Luma sent them in a position where Wadi would get hit instead afterwards. I like that <laughs> uh, chase situation with those back airs. Works out for him. Okay, back air is going to put Luma out of the game for a few seconds. All right, Wadi playing on the defensive here. You can tell he's trying to be on the chase, and you can see with those pivot force smashes, Wadi knows exactly what to do. Tries to get that up smash on the roll read. Doesn't quite work out there. Okay, throws Wadi off stage. And it takes that time to just do all the damage to Luma. Yeah, Luma just got back and, uh, and Luma's gone. But now yeah. Luma's back. Yeah, <laughs> with Rosa this time, though. So we're on a last stock scenario. I mean, it's, it's a difficult place for Master Mario to be in right now. He's got a long way to go unless he gets like a cheesy cape or something like that. Especially but I, without I, the use of platforms. He's not going to be able to extend his combos as far as he was able to in previous games. Yeah. We'll have to see how he goes. He's trying to avoid those hitboxes. You know what he's looking for. He's being a lot more patient. He's, like, he's got four minutes. He's got a lot of time to try and figure out how to get as much damage as possible. And even if he doesn't get the win, he can still figure out how Wadi's playing into neutral. But he's got him out of lead situation right now. That doesn't work out. Doesn't get the up air. The up smash is going to come out just in time. Mm -hmm. At these ledges, Master Mario has been doing a lot of, a lot of back air and a lot of up airs. Uh, I feel like when he's at a position where Wadi... Um, can potentially just pull the trigger and for big moves. Uh, he should be doing a lot more of the falling up airs instead of the rising up airs. Where are we going now? It's not, it's not actually a big Lucario, right? <laughs> he hesitated for a minute. Uh, he was thinking about it. He's like, mm, I could just back air. <laughs> Yeah, but we're just going to a non-FD stage to try and take out this next stock. Now he's got Smashville. It's a consistent one big platform. Try to get up air extensions. A very great stage for Mario, if I do say so myself. It's like all platforms for Mario. <laughs> They're all Mario friendly. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe not Colors. <laughs> nah, that, could, that could work for him too. It's kind of like how Cloud could benefit from any type of platform in Smash 4. Uh, that's true. <laughs> that's yeah. true. Alright. Oh, okay. Back throw still sends Luma into tumble just the other way. Doesn't quite work out though. Doesn't get the stock yet. But the fireball still put tax on damage onto Luma. Using the star power, just really spacing out Master Mario, putting a little bit of damage. Wow! What? That forward air from that angle was enough to take the first stock? I think Wadi was just trying to get away. He's and just then, holding out? Yeah, and then Master Mario just did it, and by the time Wadi realized it, he was already gone. He was done, man. <laughs> yeah, that stock evaporated, deleted, gone. Yeah. When Master Mario gets the explosive stocks like that, he usually takes the game. So let's see if he can continue on with the momentum. He didn't even need the platform that time. That was, was a great, solid play. Perfect example of wild card Master Mario. <laughs> Sometimes it just happens. Like, he didn't do that at all, and then uh, it just worked out there. <laughs> but the charge force match got enough time 
uh, to get that next kill there. Okay, great parry from Wadi. That time just uh, parrying the last hit knowing that it's coming out already, so might as well try to parry it. And then you use those extra frame advantage and just uh, put some distance between him and Mass Mario. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes when you parry, you don't even need to try and hit back with something. You can just try and return back to neutral. Because uh, sometimes in boxing scenarios, it's a little bit scary trying to reversal. Okay, I'd like to wait to see what the tech chase is going to be. Yeah, he used the wide hitbox like Nair to try to cover a lot of options, it looks like. Were you see a grab release? Oh, okay, it didn't work. <laughs> I don't know if that was a thing or not. Okay, there's a dare. Yeah, gonna okay, takes out Luma in the process. Okay, what is the option going to be? Air dodging across, but he's going to get grabbed again. Wadi forced to put in this recovery situation. Down tilt connecting to up air. Yeah, didn't get anything else afterwards. Try to get for guaranteed damage rather than uh, like a cheesy fair or something like that. I mean, whenever Wadi is at, as, as approaching those percents where, where Master Mario gains access to a lot of kill options, like the down air, um, See him just continuing to cross up with that, hoping that the last one will hit. Ooh, yeah, push her back. Yeah, get that flood in. What's the option gonna be? I like to see Master Mario just try to go when he knows that Wadi's gonna go for like a low recovery like that. He's, he's got a light character like Rose at a pretty high percent. Let me just go for a back air and try to get a stage spike. It could be guaranteed uh, if the percent is high. So. Okay, well, Master Mario able to clean up that stock. Now it's Wadi's turn to try and clean up. You see, up smash into up air, but even the up air, not enough. I mean, I want to say that would have worked at Smash Bros, but I'm sure people are tired of hearing that phrase, so <laughs> I won't. I'll spare you the trouble. You're done beating a dead horse? Yeah, basically. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, without Smash out of Shield, that would work in this game, too. So we're bringing it to the last stock scenario here. Yeah, very important situation for both these players. Wadi does not want to give up game three, he wants to keep his advantage. Be one game away from winning this MSM. Ooh, I like that spacing around Master Mario's hitbox. Ooh! Big air dodge coming out from Master Mario. Alright, gonna get that grab on the offstage. Air dodges through, but the lasting hitbox on that Nair still works out. Gonna get 112 on the Master Mario into the up air, throws out a button. That does not work out. The up air is gonna beat that out cleanly. Oh He's yep. going up 2 0. Smart stuff from Wadi. You just continue to. Keep Master Mario in the air and then just shark his landing, either with a dash attack or a grab. Yeah. He just, continue, he just maintained his advantage throughout that last stock. Looks like, uh, oh. Looks like Master Mario looking a little bit lost here. He's definitely thinking of something. Oh. Really? I've never seen this before. Have you seen I, this before? I don't. Well, last time I talked to him about Sonic, he was saying that he doesn't. He doesn't uh, like practice it anymore. Um, uh, huh, interesting. Okay, well, we'll see how it goes. I mean, Sonic did receive a couple of buffs here and there, so nothing like super significant or anything like that. It's not. I feel like patches these days aren't going to be really like DK has a cargo throw all of a sudden or something like that. It's just going to be like little tweaks here and there. That's Try true. Keep but those uh, changes from Smack Four to Ultimate is still pretty prevalent. All right. I mean, it looks like Wadi's still keeping the same game plan, you know, just beat out those aerials. I mean, Sonic still kind of has that weakness of the aerials are uh, multi-hit, so they might not have priorities on trade and stuff like that. So they have to be careful about stuff like that. But down tilt to forward air, I mean, that's a much more reliable uh, move. Most people don't fall out of it anymore. Great option. Does try to get out of it, but Wadi's going to DI in. Get around it. That's right. Smart stuff from Wadi. Make sure that forward air connected definitely would have been bad news for Wadi. Trying to stuff out the spin attack with an up air. Not working out for Wadi just yet. Yeah, Master Mario, I mean, I have, I've never seen this Sonic before, but uh, he's doing a pretty good job of getting around it. I like that mix up with the homing attack. Tries to go in with some kind of edge guard. Doesn't quite find it though. Wadi still really, had a lot of resources. Really looking for those S at the ledge. Okay, you know what else is that, that I'm noticing between in this matchup? Um, Sonic has. A, his spin attack, or his spin dash, is enough to actually just desync Luma. You know, just straight up kill. Yeah. Oh, that was uh, just like that F smash. Yeah. <laughs> Wacky forward smash actually uh, took out the stock there. It doesn't even have like a lightning or anything like that. Maybe DI kind of weirdly or something like that. Look at that. Even though Luma was shielding, he just still pushed back Luma. 
Okay, gets that forward smash. Trying to keep up the control here. Picks him up with the up tilt. Okay, this time the platform is not doing uh, Master Mario favors when it comes to homing attack. It just protects um, Wadi when he's underneath it, so it allows him to get counter attack instead. So, yeah, I mean, homing attack is a really good mix up now because of the way the timing works on it. You can hold it for longer, but it's just giving a Wadi advantage on this stage in particular. That's right, and with that advantage, is coming a lot of damage as well. Keeping Master Mario in the air is really similar to the last talk in Game 3. Why do you seem to have adapted to Master Mario's game plan? Yeah, I tried to wind up the forward smash. The up smash comes out first. A little bit of ill-advised forward smash, too. I don't think it really would have done any benefit to him in that scenario. Wadi was only at 34%. Mm -hmm. Would have been... I mean, he has a couple of extra quicker tools that would have gotten Wadi off him, but at the same time, you know, it is Master Mario. That wild card still picking wild card options. Okay. okay. Yeah. Turn back in the neutral air. Trying to get a little bit of damage. I mean, it's working out for him now, but I feel like it's just one of those matchups where Rosa can try to maintain that lead and make things difficult for Sonic to really come back. Oh. Run off air, and he was looking for the option. Instead of winding up that F-Smash and trying to get the two frame, he's, look, he's trying to read what Wadi's landing is going to be. Okay, two back airs on shield. That's a really low... Oh, no! Okay, he'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. He kept his jump the whole time, so... I was just more worried about the, the down air coming out from Wadi. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. I mean, he, he went flying on that homing attack. I don't know what happened there. He just, jump didn't, out. He just didn't see the... Um, ooh, yeah, that's the down air. That's the one I was talking about. Ooh, well, congratulations.